Well, here we are again. It is time for my week 49 update. Uh, we'll start with the numbers. When I first started this journey, I was 359 pounds. The day of surgery, I was 341. And last week, I was 220. The week before, I was 220. This week, I'm 221. Really? I'm. You know what? I'm not surprised. Well, I don't know. Earlier in the week, I was 218, so I thought I was sort of moving in the right direction, but... Um, as you know, if you've been watching, I haven't been feeling so well the last week or so, just over a week. Um, so I really haven't been doing anything physical other than chase the kids. This morning got a good workout chasing my effing dog. The dog takes off this morning out the front door as the kids are going to the bus stop, and she's running laps across the street, around the neighborhood. I couldn't catch her. She almost got nailed by the school bus. Thankfully, I've got a pretty understanding school bus driver. So uh, I finally had to to wrangle her. I had to run between some houses across the street because I live in a subdivision. The houses are very close together. So I ran. So she ch she chased me to go behind to go in between the houses, and then I had her sort of blocked between the houses. So when she tried to escape, I could grab her. But um, you know what? I never would have been able to do that before to chase the dog and to run and. You know, it just felt good not to uh, be, like, dying after chasing the dog. But, um, yeah, so this week I'm going to make a commitment that I'm going to do Belinda's WLS Journey. Belinda, she is a sweetheart beyond sweetheart. She um, she set a goal, and her goal was to do 30 minutes of physical activity every, every day for 30 days. Belinda has inspired me to do the same thing. I was trying to think of a goal that I could do and something attainable, and... I think I can do 30 minutes of exercise every day. So that is my goal. She's actually recording herself doing the exercise. I don't know if, I, if I'm that brave. I Hats off to you, girl, because I don't think I can do it. You know, I don't exercise in front of my husband. I don't, not in front of the kids or anything. So, um, you know, I've got an exercise bike upstairs. I can try and do it. Usually I can only, before surgery, I could only do about 15 or 20 minutes on it. So I'm going to see if I can get up to 30 minutes on the exercise bike. And you know what? I figure if I can't get up to 30 minutes on the exercise bike at the beginning, then maybe I can work up to that. And I've got the Connect on the Xbox with, um, I've got an exercise DVD, an exercise game thing. Um, you know, so there are ways, and I can walk the dog and things, so there are ways that I can get in 30 minutes of exercise every day. And, um, so that's my goal, guys, and I encourage you to do the same. Set a goal and try to achieve it. I mean, I was going to set the goal at running 5K, but that is just so big for me, to run a 5K. I just think, to start onto a goal like that, I think it would be very, um, intimidating. So I think I'll start with this, 30 minutes of exercise every day for 30 days. And um, if I can achieve this goal, then maybe I'll start, you know, running. Who knows? So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about that. So let me know if you're going to set a goal. I'd love to see uh, your progress. I think I'll log it on myfitnesspal.com. Sorry, it's adjusting the computer here. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's it. And I wanted to show you guys these things. I had been hearing people talk about um, Mio drink things on Obesity Help, and I had no idea what it was. And turns out these things right here, I got two different flavors. This one is uh, strawberry watermelon. Yeah. And this one is mango peach. And what they are are water enhancers. So it's not like Crystal Light where it's, you know, Crystal Light is basically sugar-free Kool-Aid. It's, I find it very strong. This stuff is just sort of, it just sort of flavors your water a little bit. And you can see, if it's in here, it's very, um, it's very light, like it's very, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It's, um, it's not very strong, which I like. Um, and you can sort of just kind of throw these in your purse or in your desk drawer at work or whatever and um, you know you just do a squirt it's just a squirt bottle
and you can adjust your water however you want. And what I like too is, this was I think four bucks, and I can buy a box of Crystal Light for three dollars, and there's ten packets of Crystal Light in the thing. This it says it gets, you get you twelve, yeah, apparently need a new tongue. This says you get um, twenty-four shots out of it, so um, it's like a third of the price of Crystal Light in the long run, but yeah, so I found them right next to the Crystal Light in the grocery store. And apparently you can get them at Walmart and um, give them a go. They're actually really good. I was surprised. I found the mango peach one has a bit of a funky taste. The first sip, it's got a bit of um, an aftertaste to it. But after that, it's fine. So yeah, that's it. And um, I've been on the antibiotics now for three full days. And I'm feeling better. So I think maybe my doctor might be right. Maybe it was diverticulitis. Um, because I don't have the pain anymore. And he told me after about a day and a half on the antibiotics, well, I should start to feel better. And I do. So that is a great thing because, oh, I was scared for a while, thinking it was something disastrous. And, um, you know, so, but just don't ignore those little pains, guys. You know, you might think they're minor, um, but just don't ignore them. Get checked out before it's anything catastrophic. And, uh, you know, simple antibiotics fixing my wagon, I hope. So that's it guys, week 49, a one pound gain this week, hopefully I'll do better next week, and my commitment is 30 minutes of exercise every day for 30 days. That is my commitment to you, and I will come in and I'll make a little video each day that I do it, but I'm not going to upload them every day, I'll string them together and I'll add them onto my updates once a week or something. So... I'll let you know. Wish me luck. I hope everybody else sort of does the same. I hope that uh, that maybe we can all do this together and uh, sort of keep each other motivated. Because watching Belinda's videos is definitely inspirational. You're doing it, girl, and I'm so proud of you. And uh, I can't wait to see how uh, how you're doing every day. I check it out. So um, keep it up. Keep it up. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.